Today I'm gonna to show you five things you definitely didn't know you could do with text templates in Final Cut Pro. You're definitely about to learn something. Let's just dive right in. The first one is that you can easily audition text templates with your desired text typed right in. So I'm gonna change the header and subhead of this text template. And let's say I'm not so sure about this one and I wanted to see how it looked with other text templates. I could just reach for a different one from the browser, drag it and hover it over my existing text in my timeline until I get this little green plus sign. And then I'm going to release my mouse button. And from this menu here, I'm going to select replace. And now it has replaced my original title template with the new one, but it has retained the content that I typed in pretty cool. Now I'm going to be working a lot with the dynamic titles that come with Final Cut Pro because we all have these titles, but I will show you this does work with third party title templates. So if I select, let's say these ones that I got off of Motion Array, and perhaps I wanted to use this title template, I could do the same thing. Drag, hover, select replace, and the content has been maintained. Let's go back to that original title template. And I wanna show you something that you probably have noticed about these title templates, which is that when you type in enough characters, the text auto shrinks to fit within the text box. And I don't know about you, but I sometimes find this very annoying because I wanna have more control over the size of my text with these title templates. And even when I try to increase the size of the font, it won't go above a certain point. Do you see that? But here's the secret. You can override the size of the text boxes in these title templates. All you have to do is double click that text box and suddenly your text box is different. You have these handles around the perimeter. You can actually expand the size of these text boxes by grabbing the handle and override the title template. You can even enable a ruler by hitting this icon here if you needed that kind of precision. And if you wanted to jump to the next text box within this template, just hit this little arrow. And now I'm working on this text box and I can increase the size of the text and not be constrained by the original text box size. To return to the original text box, just hit the escape key and your traditional text box will return. And so then you can reposition it easily around the screen. I gotta believe most of you guys did not know that. If you wanna know more about Final Cut Pro, you might wanna check out my full course, Final Cut Rockstar, available at jenjager.com. I give you all the media to download so we work on the project together. And when you're ready, we could take it to the next level with a more advanced Final Cut course. I get great feedback on both of these courses. In fact, I recently found out that I'm in the top 5% of course creators on Thinkific, which is amazing. So thank you to everyone who's already enrolled. If you took Final Cut Rockstar or Next Level or any of my other courses and love them, let us know down in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. All right, let's move on to my next tip, which is about customizing these title templates in ways you didn't think you could. So sticking with this original title template, I'm using the bumper version of the expressive theme in the dynamic titles. And while I do like this bumper animation, maybe I'm not crazy about the way it comes on full screen. So when you're working with these title templates, I would always recommend you select them in your timeline and head over to the title inspector to see what your options are in terms of background. So right now I'm on the default background. I could be on a solid color background and I could change this background to be any color I wanted, but then I can turn it off. And that means I just have the text on here and no other graphical elements. Those are my only options or are they? I'm gonna show you how to preserve some of these graphic elements and get rid of that background in this title template. So let's switch the background back to default. I'm going to change this first custom color to a completely different color and it does not matter what color you choose. Let's just make this hot pink, why not? And then I'm going to reach for the green screen here in my effects browser. Do you remember the green screen here that we used to use all the time before we had access to the magnetic mask rotoscope in Final Cut Pro? Let's put that green screen here back to use. I'm going to apply it to my title template by either dragging it to my title template or selecting my title in my timeline and double clicking on it here in the effects browser. That gave us kind of an interesting look, not necessarily what I was looking for. Let's head on over to the video inspector open up that green screen here and let's hit this box here, sample color. And then in my viewer, I'm just going to click and drag a square to select that hot pink that we made that background. And now I've isolated all of the graphical elements from this title template, but removed the background. 
And once you've done this, one thing I would recommend you do is maybe reduce the spill level to make sure that that here is not impacting the colors of your graphics. Let's go back to the title template and customize these colors to make it match our scene a little bit better. And then let's of course take this one step further by changing the composition with the magnetic mask. And if I wanted to be really extra about this, I would duplicate my title template by holding down the option key, selecting that original title and clicking and dragging upward in my timeline to make a copy of that title and stack it on top of the original. I'm going to disable that copy by selecting it and hitting the V key. Let's go back to our original and let's change the blend mode on this so those white bars aren't so stark. I'm gonna change that blend mode to overlay. Then I'm going to enable my new title, switch to the crop tools and crop the bottom of that version. So my white stripes are transparent, but the text is full opacity. And just to give you some ideas, here's some other title templates you can do this with. I went on a little bit of a tangent there. I just love playing with these titles and making them my own. Let me show you another thing that you can do to customize these title templates. So here is this geometric title template. You can see it animates in and animates out. And if we select it and head on up to the title inspector, you can see that we have the option to build in or build out. So by default, both are enabled and I could manually disable them if I so chose. But what if you liked the animating in, but you felt like it took too long and you wanted to speed it up? If you select your title in your timeline and head down to your retime menu, you'll see that all of your retiming tools are grayed out. They are not options. Or are they? Let me show you how you can easily change the speed of the animation in these title templates. So I'm just going to select that title and hit option G to make it a compound clip. Once I've done that, look, all of my retiming options are now available to me. So I'm just gonna run my playhead until this animation is done animating in, and I'm going to blade speed this compound clip by hitting shift B. And now I can take that front end of my title template and speed it way up. And so it feels a lot faster. And I can do that with the build out animation as well. But what if you wanted to do the opposite? What if you wanted to slow down the in or out animations? You should know that all of these title templates are created in Apple Motion on 60 frame per second timelines, which means that if you're working on a timeline with a frame rate of 24, 25, 30, you can easily slow down these timelines and the playback will still be smooth because you have 60 frames to play with. And my last tip for you is something else you may not have known about text templates in Final Cut Pro, which is that while you're looking at them in the browser, they do all have a 16 by nine aspect ratio. But did you know that you can apply these title templates to vertical versions of your videos and the animation will switch itself around to fit within that vertical aspect ratio? And I think the best example of it is these sliding box title templates. If I run my cursor over the title template in my browser, I can see in the viewer what the expected look is going to be. Let's look at this one, which is a side by side. How would this work in a vertical format? Let's try it. Look at what it's done. It's completely rearranged itself to fit in the vertical timeline. And these don't just work with the vertical orientation. They actually work with many different aspect ratios that are supported by Final Cut Pro. And they even work with Smart Conform. If you don't know what Smart Conform is, I'm gonna recommend you watch this video right here. But let me show you how these title templates are reactive when you convert your projects to other aspect ratios. I'm just going to drag a bunch of these title templates over this vertical timeline. So we can get a lot of different examples here. Then let's head back to our library and duplicate this project as. Let's make this guy square. Make sure Smart Conform is turned on. And now all of our title templates are working in the square format. Now this type of reorientation entirely depends on the way the developer built these title templates. So the ones you get in Final Cut will work this way. Some of the ones you might get from a third party may not. It really just depends on who created those title templates and if they took the time to make versions in every aspect ratio. But you shouldn't shy away from the title templates you see in Final Cut Pro. If you're working in projects with different aspect ratios besides 16 by nine, because pretty much any of these title templates 
Even the old ones will work in these different aspect ratios. I know that you learned at least one thing in this video. I would like to know what it is. Let us know down in the comments. Thanks for hanging out. Here's some other videos I know you're gonna love. I'll see you again.